So I've always been visually inspired, and in the period 2006 to 2008, as I started my master's, and as I transitioned from thinking of myself mainly as a trumpet player to primarily as a composer, um, almost all the works I composed during this time were inspired by visual art in some way. So this is painting, drawing, sculpture, kinetic sculpture. So I wrote pieces inspired by Barnett Newman, Mark Rothko, uh, kinetic sculptor Arthur Ganson, artist Julie Meritu. Um, and looking back, I think um, my influence of art was a way of me to e explore new con uh, abstract concepts in my music and take my music and kind of push the creative boundaries there. So in these works, I didn't seek to depict the artwork sonically. Um, I used uh, their textures, their color, um, uh, some concepts that I could glean from analyzing the artworks as springboards for uh, my musical ideas. So well, I think the, it could be helpful or interesting to look at the artwork, and maybe my work will give you a new way of seeing the, the original artwork or vice versa, um, the artwork, my pieces stand on their own, and I think of these artworks as scaffolding in the composition process that helped me create the piece. So this uh, piece, Icarus Dreamt, I wrote in 2008 at the end of my master's, and it combined three um, influences, um, the first of which is this kinetic sculpture by Arthur Ganson, and it's entitled Machine with 23 Scraps of Paper. So what inspired me about this, uh, I saw this at the MIT Museum where it's on permanent display. Um, I was very inspired by the textures and the sounds here, the clicking gears and these overlapping textures. And as you'll see, this sculpture animates scraps of paper um, to, f to flap wings like paper birds. So this overlay of this texture inspired the opening texture of my piece. Um, here it is. Now, I couldn't help but imagine these paper birds uh, coming to life and flying away from the machine. Also inspiring the piece was uh, the painting, uh, the, the, the collage, Icarus by Henri Matisse. And this is one of my favorite paintings, and I have a poster of it uh, above my, my desk where I compose, um, and here in Rome I have a postcard next to my desk that <laughs> comes with me. Um, so the lyrical gestures of this, the kind of reaching, the yearning, um, inspired the, the, the gestures in my piece. So there is this kind of romantic lyricism in the piece, and the, the big red heart this kind of, uh, inspired me for that sense of yearning. So both of these merged in my mind with the myth of Icarus and Daedalus. So I imagine uh, a potential dream that could have happened before he made his fightful flight. So in my Icarus dreamt, um, Icarus uh, gets his wings, learns to fly, flies to the sun and foreshadows his fall to the sea below, but then he tries to again and flies to the, the sun and beyond. So it's, it's, it's a piece about kind of striving for things greater than oneself. So this recording that you'll hear is from the Aspen Concert Orchestra at the, in Aspen, Colorado. And for those of you who may have been there, know that around 6 o'clock every day there's a thunderstorm. So in the recording you'll hear some thunder, but I actually think it works nicely. It makes me think of the gods warning Icarus not to fly to the sun. So here's uh, the beginning of Icarus Dreamt. <laughs> 